Prince, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window and I am so happy you are here because guess what? We are on our block step four to achieve our co uh, common bright quilt. I am so excited because today it is one of my favorite blocks that we're going to be doing. We are going to be making a feather star for the center of the quilt. We have worked so hard on our eight point star, on our four patches. We finished those blocks for the center and this border outside. And now it's going to be time to frame that beautiful eight point star into a feather star. Are you ready? I hope so. This is an amazing block. It's going to take a little bit of patience lots of pins and some partial seams. So let me show you. For anybody that just joining us in, this project is from our Common Bright pattern. The pattern is available on our website and we are using beautiful kit that is still available on our website, but they're selling out. So please, if you want a kit, make sure visit Laundry Basket Quilts. We are using a set of templates also. And today we're gonna pull out of the template set a template B for the diamond. This diamond is right here on the points on our beautiful feather star. So go ahead, grab your templates, get your fabric, make some room because a big beautiful block is going to happen right here on the show. We're going to start by preparing half square triangles. Those half square triangles are right here and in the pattern tells you that you can use triangle paper or you can go ahead and use the traditional um, uh, sewing for this triangle. So I cut myself some dark triangles, some light half square triangles and now I'm gonna select one and one, put them right sides together just like this and I'm gonna go ahead and stitch. As soon as I finish stitching, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and press it open. You're gonna need 32 half square triangles units like this for the center feather star. Then you're gonna need four dark half square triangles and we're gonna need um, two, four, eight, uh, two, four, six, eight, sixteen of the light ones. So make sure you have plenty of the light ones and you have four of the dark ones waiting for you as well. Now notice I finished my half square triangles and they have to be trimmed to two by two. And remember that cute little unit that we use for trimming our four patches, that cute little squares? That square could be perfect to put it right over your half square triangle, trim it around and make them just wonderful. And I've done all of that at home and I am now ready, set, go to show you what to do next. Before I start, showing you the pieces and sewing my units. I also wanted to remind you to please cut your strips. You're going to cut them at two inch, use your template B, place it right over and cut your diamonds for the points of your star. All right, you're going to need eight of those. So please do that. Now let's start making units because to achieve a beautiful block like this is the best to start with units. And first unit, I'm going to take three half square triangles like this. Okay. Three half square triangles and one dark half square triangle and one light. So I have three units plus one and one. I'm gonna go ahead, place them right sides together and stitch. This time I'm asking you to make the seam allowance a little bit bigger, just tiny bit bigger. You wanna absorb just a tiny bit. We're using those uh, pre-made half square triangle units and I'm doing this because I just need this to be a little bit smaller than usual. So my seam allowance is gonna absorb the measurements. I'm gonna sew those three together, add one triangle on the left, one triangle on the right, and just remember this seam allowances 
a regular quarter inch, only this two, <coughs> and in the bottom, I made sure, I remind you about this right here, notice it, seam allowance 518, so just tiny bit bigger than a quarter inch, okay? So once you finish those units, you're gonna go ahead and sew a second unit. This time is three half square triangles plus one triangle in light, okay? You're gonna be sewing those three together place that and again this seam allowance is right here needs to be a little bit bigger to make this unit smaller and right there you're gonna go ahead place your half square triangle pin it in place sew it and we have those done as soon as you do this you're gonna repeat four times for this unit and four times for the first unit that I showed you right here, okay? As soon as you finish four and four, we can start our assembly for our sides. And this is what you're going to do. You're gonna take a, um, this triangle, the big one, it's our background triangle, and you're gonna go ahead and now sew the units to it. You're gonna start by sewing the smaller one first, right here. You just place over half square triangle, sew it, but remember, leave a little opening. So when you put this uh, triangle right over, you're only gonna come up to here, stop backstitch, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. You place it, sew it, also leave a little bit opening then you're gonna go ahead and add those two triangles those are my dark triangles those are going to be my points right here i chose the blue for my quilt because i kind of anchor some blue in the center so i'm super excited about that now you're gonna make four units like this notice it this is partial seam don't be afraid if you have any questions just email me remember be careful right here this is a bias edge don't let this to stretch so be very careful and those are also by ed bias edges so don't press too hard i like to finger press and gently press it with an iron from the top you're gonna make four units like this those are gonna be your sides now we need to create another unit what it's a corner unit so look at that i'm going to place that right here here and for that second unit we need okay let me show you let me show you we're gonna need a uh, diamonds we're gonna need half square triangles but we're gonna start this is gonna be our unit that we're gonna sew it first okay so we need a one diamond one half square triangle one triangle unit and a square okay a cute little pink square we're gonna place this right sides together just like this and we're gonna go ahead and stitch stitch right here from the top notice how i move this with my fingers because i want to make sure that my diamond lines up perfectly right here overlaps right here i'm gonna stitch i'm gonna flip it over i'm gonna push the seam allowance towards my diamond, then I'm gonna go ahead, add this to it, and finish by adding this square to it. So this is gonna be one unit. Right here, I already have this one sewn. My second unit, it's a diamond, half square triangle, and a half square triangle unit. I'm gonna sew all of those into the row. Again, remember, most important that you just overlap this diamond so nice, stitch it, the same here, just it's a mirror image, finish it up. Next, we're gonna take this, match it up in the bottom. Don't get this uh, distracted that this is not long enough. I oversize the backgrounds because I wanna finish my feather star and then maybe if I need it, I wanna trim it. If not, my point's gonna be floating really nice inside my block. So don't be worried about it. Start stitching right here. Make sure that all the seams are laying down. This time you're gonna sew all the way and then open it up 
then you're gonna go ahead and add this unit to it let me show you i have one put together for you guys i don't want to push this one too far away because you're gonna need this in just a moment but look at this one is already done isn't that beautiful so i saw this push my seam allowance towards the square finish by adding this one let me show you in the back seems really nicely locked everything is perfect so i created this unit and now i need four of them i needed side units and corner units each four of them let's start laying out my block i'm gonna move things out a little bit out of the way so you get to see everything that it's happening now let's see i need uh sides okay i need my center block this is gonna be my center okay this needs to come closer and now i have my bottom part and on the bottom part i already start piecing and i'm gonna show you this in a moment okay so bear with me i'm still working on my side for this side so i'm just gonna use this one for now okay just so you see it so look at this first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to sew my middle okay i'm gonna check and remember now is the time to press your block and if you need to square it down a little bit this should be eight and um i believe a 516 yes and it's supposed yep five uh five eights five eights i'm so sorry so it was eight and three quarters if you want to trim it gently around just one sixteen around that's perfect if you look at it and your piece is see mine is one eight bigger so everything pieced beautifully i wanted to check this now now is the time so um, i'm gonna be trimming my center to uh eight and five eights um, now I'm going to go ahead, place this right sides together, match and match, okay, stitch, flip it open, then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So that's how the middle is going to be done. Now let me show you how the top and the bottom is going to be done okay i'm moving just this up a little bit so you see it all that i did is i took my middle unit and i sewed this to it and then finished my partial seam i saved this one because i really wanted to show you guys how i do that this is my side all that i did is match perfectly i pin it okay I know this is a lot at once but guess what you can do it most important i want this point not to disappear just match with this point do you see so right there i want those points if i can match perfectly so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna take a pin put it through right there this is the x right there and i want it to match with this point and when i pin it this way then i can put the two pins one in front of it and one right behind it this is so important to get a nice um nice transition right there and i'm gonna stitch from here straight down paying attention that i don't clip any of the points and i just stitch right down and then i can open this up and once i do that i can go ahead and match this up right on the top here and finish the seam i'm gonna show you on this side because it's already put together how i went and started here and finished that partial seam do you see what's happened so once you have this side done then you go ahead and finish this partial seam and you have a this side finish and then all that you have to do is do the same thing on the top and now we're gonna go ahead and place this right sides together sew it 
only up to here and then we're going to be finishing those partial seams this partial seam right here and your feather star is done isn't that beautiful and what i love about this feather star it is bigger so that way you can go ahead square it out any imperfection anything that happened gives you the chance to do things the right way so you can be ready for the next step and i just want to bring to your attention i've done this in this quilt because there's so many seams so for example when i finish this i want to have a room to square out to be ready for my basket that's next week and then once my basket finish I can frame it with this inner border and again if something gets off I can go ahead and adjust if I sew but I wouldn't sew this yet and that's for next time I'll be sewing those blocks together and that's what I'm saying if anything is wrong I can go ahead and adjust it because I have a little cushion with those inner borders so keep working I hope you enjoy it our feather star is gonna be so beautiful look at this all those gorgeous pieces are gonna be in place and I can promise you next time I see you oh, this block is gonna be finished up ready set go oh I have to figure it out where is this from this side look at this it took me a little bit but guess what I figured it out and I'll be ready for you guys next uh, week because I am so excited we're working so hard on our blocks and we're almost almost there so I hope you can enjoy that feather star with me and have a beautiful beautiful project we are halfway through guess what but you have done already so much work we have done those stars so next border is going to be super easy all that we have to do learn a little bit applique make cute baskets and then we move on to the outside just a little bit more work with half square triangle units and then we go ahead and finish with a beautiful border on the outside that is just all oh, just beautiful patches i'm super excited for you guys if you have any questions about this project make sure you email us to our customer service and also visit our website for any of your needs like the pattern and the kit and the template we have it all available at laundry basket quilts and i am so so thankful that you decide to make one of my favorite quilts one of my original designs called common bride happy quilting and congratulations we are halfway through mm -hmm.